Hello guys, how about some C++ coding again, this time dynamic arrays. They are part of the STL, like the fixed arrays, and the class for dynamic arrays is called Vector. I know, you have to get used to it. Okay, I created a new console project and called it Vectors. And before we can create a vector, we have to include the header and the name is, you guessed it, Vector. Okay, once we included the header, we can create the vector. It is in the namespace STD. And like for the array, we have to define the type of the items in angle brackets. And I use the type integer. We talked about the types. I use the fixed integer type for 32 bits. Give it a name. I call it vec. And now we created an empty vector. But I can already add values to the vector in this line. Just add the values in curly brackets. Simple, right? Now we have a vector with two items, 10 and 50. But let me add another one. For example, 100 as the first element, because then we are going to see an effect when we later on go ahead and sort the vector. Okay, as I said, it's a dynamic array, so let's add some items dynamically. Now you would search for a method like append or add. That would be intuitive, but it's named a bit different. It's named pushback. Well, once you know this, you won't forget it. So pushback is appending items. Now we push back the item 67 and let's sort in the end, let's go directly to iterating over the items and print them to the console. As we did for the fixed array, we use the ranged base for loop. It's a for each loop with that we can loop over the items without having to define an index. So we get the next item for each iteration and store it to the variable number. Then we can use stdcout to print it to the console. Okay, that's a good point for starting the project to see if it works. And yes, it does. Here we have the four unsorted items, 100, 10, 50, and 67. Okay, now let's go ahead and erase an item. Usually you would search for an index parameter, perhaps an integer, but no. You have to use a so-called iterator or two iterators to define a range of items to erase. And if you are not used to the concept, it's a bit hard to understand these parameters. But the vector has a begin iterator, which can be regarded as the first index. And there's an end iterator, which can be seen as the last index, okay? Just to keep it simple, I will go more into detail for iterators. But for now, have a look at this. You can just add a number to the first iterator. And in this example, we get the second item with that. The first one with the begin iterator plus one. So you see, it's not that hard to understand it. Okay, and now I'm going to print out the vector after the arrays so that we can see the change. I just add this line after erase and then I copy the for loop and start the program. And here we have it, the second item, the number 10, is removed. Okay, and in the end, as I promised, we're going to sort the vector. For this, we can use the method sort, which is in the std namespace as well, but we can't find it in the IntelliSense. And this is usually because you have to include a header. The header we need in this case is algorithm. And after including this, we find the method. But now again, these iterators. Why not just passing the vector as parameter? Well, it's a feature because by using the iterators, you can sort the whole vector when you pass begin and end, or you can limit the sorting to a certain range of the vector. Okay, feature. All right, so let's start again after sorting. And now you see the vector is sorted. And again, the second element is removed. But this time it's not 10, it's 50, because the vector was sorted. Last but not least, I show you how to remove all the items from the vector, which can be done by using the method clear. Okay guys, these are the basic functionalities and methods of the STL vector class. I hope you found it interesting and understandable. If you do, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, then add these to the comments below. Support me by being my patron, this would be great, and I see you soon in the next one here on JNM.